all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you i hope my voice is coming good and clear please invite your friends and don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish it take maybe uh, 20 minute or 30 minute depending on the link of the video for uh, youtube to make it processed so you can download it before we start talking about uh, the topic today which is science but as you see we have in the title we have a fraud fraud in, in islamic cult and before I start speaking about science, I will show you many ways of a fraud. This is a person, he called himself Dr. Greg Considini. I don't know what the origin of this person, but he is very active sponsoring Islam and trying to fool people about it. As you see, this is one of the kind of the fraud. Muhammad, he said, and Jesus, he said. What Jesus said, love your enemy okay let me ask you so as long you are sponsoring Islam so why you don't ask Muslims how come Allah and his prophet did not say love your enemy as long you are desperately trying to say to us that Islam is a good religion and Islam have a good teaching and Islam is a wonderful you know belief so why you don't ask yourself where in Islam we can find it says love you love love your enemy did Muhammad love his enemies? Or Muhammad, he said in the Quran, Fight them, kill them, and Allah will torture them by your hands. Why they are, <clears throat> you know, at the end of the day, I understand that there's many people that are here for business. Is that the word of the Quran, which you are proud about? And we will put the verse on the screen that the Muslims they have a duty to kill the Christians and the Jews and the Hindus and the atheists and to torture them because Allah he said so so you quote for us Jesus says love your enemy why you don't quote for us what Muhammad said about the enemy what about Muhammad saying when you see your enemies not only you cut their neck but you cut their fingertips The torture prophet. Not only he want to kill his enemies, cut their necks, but he enjoy torturing Christians and Jews and Hindus and Buddhas and cutting their fingertips. Why you don't show us? Those people, by the way, who they are involved heavily trying to promote Islam. You need always to ask yourself, can this person stand for a debate with me for five minutes or he will start leaking like a car losing its oil what jesus did not do condemn people who well, know jesus condemn liars and you are a liar he said to them your father is the devil so why you lie what people did not do argued over theology you're a big fat liar Jesus, he said to them, if you are of your father, Abraham, you do the work of your father. This is about theology and believe. Word about hellfire, you are a liar. Jesus, he said to them, I am the way and no salvation but by me. Everything this person he say is a fraud. Jesus helped the sick, but Muhammad, he killed the one who is sick. Actually, the Quran says, Allah will increase the sickness of people. Is that right? <laughs> and this is why, this is why, uh, we, we find that Islam is totally the opposite of what is a Christianity is about. What Allah is do? Allah increase the disease so why you are saying that Jesus is a healer and healing have many ways it can be physical healing it can be spiritual healing Allah is the disease vendor so my friend those people are fabricators and they are liars and they are not a truthful and we cannot take what they say and this is why the Muslim they used their names like this guy he sounds like he's not uh, he's not born from a, like a Muslim family but 
it sounds like for me is a very much a Muslim guy and look all his activities is between the Muslims Does the New Testament predict the coming of Prophet Muhammad? You know John chapter 14 verse number 16 and 17 this guy his name is dr. Greg so he's doctor in what he just said and as you see in the front of you this is one of the level of the fraud that Muhammad as the spirit of the truth but is Muhammad is a spirit you idiot when you say Muhammad is the spirit of the truth is Muhammad is a human being or he is a spirit and the same verse you are talking about that the spirit will stay with them until the day of judgment Muhammad is dead this is the fraud this is what happened when you get an ignorant fraud on the stage. He shoot himself in the foot and people laugh at him. Everything you say is a joke. And look, he compared between the Bible and the Quran. He says in the book of James, chapter 2, verse 24, it says, you see that the person is considered righteous by what they do. Okay, let me ask you. When the Quran, and you are saying to me here, there's a verse from the Quran saying, and those who believe to do righteous, good deeds, they are the doers of paradise. But what is righteous in Islam? Righteous in Islam is to attack and to do jihad and to kill the Christians and the Jews. Moral of a story actions speak louder than words. Thank you very much. Here we go. This is the moral of Islam Let me get you busted before even you know because as long we are talking about a fraud Action speak loud action what speak loud. This is what he said You see how the actions speak loud Muhammad saying I've been ordered to kill all mankind not to save them until they do this and this and this and they say this and this and that so why you are a fraud do you have even a shame no you don't and Muhammad making it clear for us that he will kill anyone who don't believe in Islam and this is the only way to save yourself from being slaughtered and not only that the only way so Muhammad will not take your property Muhammad is an official thief do you see it and not only you have to say Shahada and not only you have to pray but you have to pay Muhammad money and you have to eat as he eat and pray as he pray and all of this is authentic so do you see how we can get you busted with your false propaganda in two minutes I'm done with you you are a false man you are a false man look at this here a Christian said to me last night Islam does not have something similar to love the neighbor like Christianity I pointed the Christians to the word of the Prophet Muhammad whoever goes in bed while his neighbor is hungry isn't it a true believer but this is my friend this is about the Muslims let us see what the Quran says and get you busted the Quran even forbid Muslims to be friends to their own family Is that right? Absolutely. Here we go. You will not find a good Muslim, a true Muslim, who is friend, loving those who oppose Allah. Do you see it? So why you are a scam? Why you are a fraud? Either you have no brain or you are a fraud. Choose one. Because when somebody claims to be a doctor, I am assuming that he is educated. So what is what kind of education you have? This is the Quran saying you cannot be good to them. You will not find a single Muslim who believe in Allah. He will do a loving act to someone who oppose Allah. Even if they are their fathers and their sons and their brothers from their blood, from their clan. 
to demean your neighbor you are nothing but a shame and Islam as a fascist cult teach the following too and this is exactly what Hitler was trying to do Hitler he believed in himself and he want to do something for himself he want to rule the earth you are the true Muslims the best of the people who ever raised ever for mankind this is the Quran chapter 3 verse number 10 what does that mean the best of mankind is those who bring mankind and the chains around their necks till they embrace Islam this is the duty of Islam and this guy is being busted and I advise you to put some Nivea uh, in the places you get spanked and yet you call yourself a doctor go change you know change the title in front of your name call yourself a tractor call yourself uh, 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 the, the the fabricator but don't call yourself a doctor you know this is not good now we go back to our topic forget about this is scam this is fraud he got busted you can cut this video alone and you can name it by his name dr greg consendini consendine consendine i don't know where this name is coming from and we can cut this video make it by itself so everybody will laugh at him and post it for him in his twitter and tell him a christian prince he challenged you if you dare to show up and call him just for maybe 30 minutes and everybody will laugh at you everybody will die laughing at your ignorance and your stupidity thank you and we continue with the fraud of the quran